Hi everyone, warm welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a good day and that you would like to review this beautiful Hanimbing Nico bag with me today. Yeah, let's jump into it. This is the bag that I've been wearing the most in 2022. So I have a lot to share, uh, both how it looks now after a year of intense wear and what fits inside. And generally, would I recommend buying this bag? Why, what are the pros and cons? So I'll start by introducing the bag. As you can see, it has a nice classic rectangular shape and it has a bit of a neutral um, handle, which is very sturdy, very um, firm. I know that not everyone uh, will like it, but I personally like it. It's easy to hold onto. <laughs> um, the bag, as you can see, is not in leather. It's in tweed, both the handle and the body. Um, and the hardware, there's nothing here. There's only this buckle, the uh, opening closure uh, that is in the yellow gold, of course, not real gold hardware. And then inside you have one main compartment and one small pocket here. So it has quite simple design, but I think that it's classical, elegant, and it's very cozy, especially in the uh, autumn or winter when you wear it with your uh, neutral color outfits or, or black it's also very looks very warm and cozy so after a year of use more or less every week at least one day i've been wearing it we can have some close-up so you can see how it looks so the hardware there are some noticeable scratches on the hardware and that's certainly a drawback of um, this kind of closures because it's always rubbing here, always. Every time you open and close, it's rubbing. And that is something that I generally don't like with this kind of open and close buttons. For instance, Chanel Classic Flaps have very similar. And that is one of the reasons why I personally purchased only bags um, with uh, magnetic closure from Chanel and no classic flaps. I, I, I really don't like this <laughs> open and close. But here, I mean, this is a different price category bag than Chanel, although it has some Chanel wipes. Mm, but for, for, for a cheaper bag, I don't mind uh, that it scratches a bit. It's not visible if you look from a bit more far, more far away. Uh, now, here you can see the bag still looks clean and nice. Um, this side that was touching my gloves is also um, yeah I would say quite clean although I didn't uh, think about any like color transfers or whatever when I was wearing it but uh, the part where you can see visible signs of use is the handle so here you can see that I was touching it constantly I was holding my hand here um, and here you can see then that uh, the tweed isn't clean i haven't tried to wash it in some way yet but i think i should in some time because it will become gray i'm sure because of the natural oils in your hands and uh, yeah maybe it would make sense to put some twilly here to protect the handle but honestly i don't think that any twilly would look good on this bag it wouldn't look well styled with a twilly i think and another noticeable uh, sign of wear is um the shape if you look here it feels that it's deforming a bit okay so what fits inside this beauty it is quite a spacious bag especially for me who uh, is in general a more of a small bag <laughs> person uh, i can fit loads in it really um let's start with for example sunny's small phone this is an iPhone. I'm sure you can you could fit any other phone. Uh, maybe not a tablet, but um, a wallet with um, car keys, home keys, uh, bank cards. If you have a big wallet, I'm sure it would fit as well. I can even put another extra um, wallet with cards, pocket tissues. I don't know, maybe a lipstick or so. Face fresh paper. Put it there. Headphones. 
even like a hairbrush you could fit here as well so you close it and here you go it doesn't look overloaded it's uh, not too heavy you can uh, run your errands and have everything you need i think i've even had a water bottle here or a small umbrella so no problem to fit uh, a lot of course not like a laptop or or things like that but uh, otherwise i think it's quite a generous compartment i could fit something some more things here if i would like to something like a hand cream for instance it still fits well like that so overall i think this is a really nice classic bag i would certainly buy it again it fits uh, many different outfits uh, especially if you like classic style but uh, it has a bit of uh, vintage vibes and i know that this bag is available in several colors so perhaps the darker one wouldn't uh, have such visible signs of use on the handle uh, it's not an expensive bag so even if after uh, five years it doesn't look new you, you you probably wouldn't bother so i hope that you enjoyed this review and if you like my content welcome to subscribe to my channel it's very new so i would really appreciate it and see you in my next video bye